And we begin this segment with the hosting cup controversy. The Confederation of African Football says it will make a decision on the host for the 2015 Africa Cup of Nations in the two to three days. As a CAF president, Issa Haya too said, postponing the tournament will be deadly for African football. The competition was left in limbo after would-be host Morocco insisted on having the tournament postponed over fears of the Ebola virus. CAF's refusal to change dates has now seen Morocco thrown out of the tournament with more football sanctions expected to be meted out on the North African country. The saga that is the 2015 Africa Cup of Nations continues. With no host and one yet to be decided, the Confederation of African Football faces a race against time in order to have a well-organized event. After Morocco's refusal to host the tournament, citing fears over the Ebola virus, a number of countries were lined up as emergency hosts. 2013 hosts South Africa, who would be the best option, already declined the invitation. According to reports, Ghana were approached but cited a lack of funds as their main hurdle, while Egypt opted out. Algeria and Tunisia were, however, not among those asked to host. Now, the countries still said to be open to hosting the competition include 2012 co-host Gabon and Equatorial Guinea, as well as Angola. Even as the continent waits for CAF's direction on the future of the competition, Moroccans agree with their government's decision. I think that most people aren't that bothered by the punishment or the decision taken by CAF, because what is important for us is the health of the people and of our guests. And we believe in the decisions of our government and of our king. The decision not to host was taken by the Moroccan government. It was putting the health of the people first before football. But unfortunately, CAF is only interested in the business of making money because they will lose $20 million if they cannot organize this tournament. I am fully with the government's position. There were mixed reactions to CAF's decision to sanction the North Africans from fans across the continent. I think that our Moroccan friends did this in bad faith because they can organize the FIFA Club World Cup, accepting all the clubs in the world who will come to Morocco. A few weeks later, they say they can no longer accept foreigners. In my opinion, there is something fishy here. This is a disease today that has many victims, and we all know that there is no cure, so you have to understand the position Morocco is in. But I think that we should not blame CAF. I, however, feel the decision to disqualify Morocco is severe. I will say that the decision of the CAF is beneficial and justified, and that will make each country more responsible in the decision to hold an African competition. CAF is expected to reach a decision in coming days. Celestine Caroné, CCTV.